In this video, I prepared two examples for you to work on ChangeRoll. There are more videos on ChangeRoll I already made, so you can look through those if you want. Here they ask you to find ChangeRoll to find a derivative of W with respect to S at 3, 0. So that's my point. Uh, S is 3 and T is 0. But W depends on X, Y and Z and X, Y and Z depends on S and T. So if you want to have a sketch of what is going on here, you see that W depends on three variables, X, Y, and Z. And each of them depend on two variables, S and T. Or sometimes you saw the graph in your book, which do like this. The trees keep growing, S and T, S and T, S and T. So they want us to find the derivative of W with respect to S only and the other one will be partial derivative with respect to t so they don't ask us to find that one and then plug in three and zero so they will give you formulas and some students try to memorize them i'm not a big fan of memorization so i will teach you how to actually imagine the formula i am imagining that we are digging into a pocket of the pens and we have one pocket which divides into two pockets and only one of these pockets has a candy. So when I go to the left side of my pants, I'm going to this pocket, unzip the under pocket, and there's a candy there. And there'll be right side of my pants, and I do the same thing. And then maybe the back pocket. I'm going to the back pocket, and same, unzip for the correct portion uh, of the pocket, and get into under pocket to get that candy S. From the formula point of view, it looks like so. I'll put it in a beautiful color for you. The partial derivative of W with respect to S will be, you first need to go into this level. Let me color code it. W with respect to X, right? So I'm doing it step by step. Let me find derivative of the W with respect to X. Chain will says multiplied all the levels because multiplying means end. So then I will do and, partial and, I will go and find derivative of x with respect to s. Derivative of x with respect to s. And as you can see, I don't need to memorize this formula. I just remember how to do it. Then I will do or. Or means plus in the logic world. And I will do, I'm going back to my right side of the pants. And I'm taking derivative of w with respect to y to dig into this pocket. So I'm going to do W with respect to Y. But Y has two pockets. So I'll repeat the same idea. I will unzip the correct pocket, which is derivative of Y with respect to S. And that's how I get there. Or, or means plus. There's a third option, right? That's why it's or. Third option. The third option is this back pocket of my pants. I'm differentiating first W with respect to Z. And, and that's why it's multiplied, I'm going into this correct pocket because they asked me to find it with respect to S, derivative of Z with respect to S. So as you can see, I don't need to memorize this formula. I just understand what is happening, how to dig into differentiation of W with respect to X and then X with respect to S, W with respect to Y and then Y with respect to S. W with respect to Z, and then Z with respect to S. And they ask you then to flip, and maybe we need to do it later, and do differentiation with respect to T. And I don't really make lists. Some students like making a list of each variable, of each derivative, and then multiply. I just find it right away. Blue one. Derivative of W with respect to X will be, I need to look here at first. That will be 2X times derivative of in green x with respect to s i'm looking over here that is times t because s is the variable and t is a constant or derivative of w with respect to y looking in my box that gives me 2y times derivative of y with respect to s i'm looking over here with respect to S, it will be a constant cosine T. Or means plus derivative of W with respect to Z. Looking at the box, it gives me 2Z times 
which color did not use yet. Let's do greenish. Derivative of z with respect to s will be constant sine t. And this is the result of the derivative. We just need to plug now the point. But that actually is amazing work, which will cost you lots of points in the test. And actually, it means you understand what are you doing here. Now, partial derivative of w. Do you know why it is partial? Because we could also differentiate with respect to t. And every time we could dig into this pocket on the right. So, just to make sure you understand. Partial derivative of w with respect to s at the point 3, 0. And if you want to have a good nose, you can put that s is 3 and t is 0. Will be. And now you plug carefully in. Uh oh, what should I do? I did not actually. Like, how can I plug 2x? So I have 2x. But what is happening with 2x when I want to plug s and t? So, before plugging in, apparently, I need to have the final answer with respect to only two last variables, s and t. That is why, instead of all the blue-colored functions, I need to actually go back to whatever they mean. x, as you can see from here, is s times t times t plus 2y. y is s cosine t, so it will be black. 2 and then y will be changed into s cosine t times cosine t was there originally so i just copied it was in pink 2z 2 i'm gonna copy z is s sine t and then sine t was there so i'm copying it as well you can simplify that as well, but uh, since we're plugging 3 and 0, many things will be zeros anyways. But if you want to, it will be s t squared plus 2 s cosine squared t plus 2 s sine squared t. Now, I'm ready to plug 3 and 0 s is 3 t is 0 0 plus s is 3 but t is 0 cosine of 0 is not 0 which is good so it's going to be 2 times 3 plus s is 3 and t is 0 sine of 0 is 0 the answer is 6 and that is the final answer what do you think about that let me move the second example to the next video so you can think about it carefully and practice uh, by yourself and see if you succeed or not. I want to make a comment that some students like plugging x, y, and z into the original equation, building the function w, which is s t squared plus s cosine t squared plus s sine t squared. Do not do that. You're actually not supposed to. Yes, you can if you want to. And our derivative will be easier. You just need to differentiate with respect to s and the answer will be the same. But we're expecting you to use the formula for the chain rule. Why? Because we mean people? No. Because if you have 75 equations, x, y, z, t, m, d, a, w, uh, g, a, 1, j, 2, j, 3, gravitational forces, uh, g, whatever alphabet your language has, imagine all the letters used. You don't want to plug it all in. It will be a mess. So we don't do that. So don't plug in. Do not plug. You need to plug at the very end. And only if you actually asked to do so. So just a note about that. Okay, watch one more video and then you might become professional in taking partial derivatives using channels.